Hello anyone and everyone, I am Echo and today we're exploring Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Uh, we're here outside of yet another torture room, we're going through the choir area. Uh, which is oddly named, I've just realized, because it doesn't look anything like a place where a bunch of schoolboys would be practicing their singing. Um, the, oh wait. Never mind. I just realized why it's called the choir. Because of those pipes where, uh, when the people are getting tortured, they scream and their screams go through the pipes and it terrifies the other prisoners. That's why it's called the choir. Because they're all singing, sort of, in a symbolic way. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice and creepy and great. Alright, we've got two pieces of the orb. I'm not sure how many there are. I suspect there'd be four given the size of each of these pictures. It looks like each of them is a quarter of an orb. Unless it's just much bigger than I'm imagining it. I don't know. And we've also got the poison gland. And the poison gland is uh, one of the pieces we need for the tonic. For... What's his face? And so now... Hey! Torture room. Awesome. Great. These are my favorite places. What's my sanity at? A slight headache. Oh, so why is my vision so blurry? My vision is super blurry and my ears are ringing. At least the ears of my character in the game. This is usually... Oh, never mind. My sanity just dropped. Alright. Maybe from being in here with the torture device? Wait a minute, this is the same effect... Okay, let's just pick up the piece of orb. Oh, now we're crystal clear suddenly. Seems the orbs are actually kind of good for us. Huh. Um, but yeah, no, the ringing and blurry vision, the exact same effect happened. Yeah, now it's gone. The exact same effect happened when we were in that room with all the dead bodies that one time in the uh, morgue, <laughs> that one time. There have been a few rooms with dead bodies, but it was the morgue, so it had way more dead bodies than usual. And when we were in that room, our ears were ringing and our uh, vision was blurry, and so it made our sanity constantly drop. And I think, for some reason, that torture room in particular, not the others, um, had the same effect. Which is kind of weird. You'd think all the torture rooms would probably do that. But I guess not. Alright. So. Now it's back out here. To the place where the monsters spawn. The monsters which, so far, thankfully, have not caught me only actually been caught and subsequently attacked by a monster once. Oh, he's right over there. Cool. So we'll go this way. Is he on the left or right side? Yep, right side. Okay. But he's moving to the left. So let's go this way. I don't want nothing to deal with him. And you know what? Let's go across the bridge. I think, if my orienteering skills are not failing me, this should be the way back to where we came. Maybe. Yeah, that's the, uh, fallen down pillar that was in here when we first entered the area. So this door will take us back to the choir entrance. Now, um, there was, to my left just now, there was another bridge that led off to a 
corner of the room I don't think I've been to yet. Um, still crystal clear, all's good. Cool, cool. We're all looking good. Um, and I suspect the fourth and final piece of the orb is probably back there. But I don't want to go back there just yet, because we have another side to go check out. And we also want to get uh, Agrippa's tonic. Not Vyre's tonic. Did I call it Vyre's tonic earlier? I don't remember. I don't know if I even called it anything. I might have just cut off what I was trying to say. But, uh... But, yeah. Agrippa's tonic, we have to... get... Ah, you, you have anything new to say? Oh. Never mind. Okay. What's the new note? Agrippa channels. Er. Mementos, I mean. Many ore pieces can be found in the transept. Agrippa the dying man wants to put a at me to save him. One note speaks of a mission made with three ingredients. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Never mind. I guess, uh. That other corner of the room that we didn't go into was completely optional. That's cool with me. I don't mind that at all. Let's go to the transept now. Uh, what I was going to say is I wanted to go to the transept because we've got the one piece of the tonic from this thing down here. We got the saliva cover on the bone, and we've got the poison gland, but we need one other piece for his tonic at the... Uh, at uh, the transept over here. But uh, I don't want to accidentally collect all the orb pieces before getting the transept because I don't know if the game will like force us to go into the end game and I'm pretty sure getting Agrippa's tonic is optional. Holy shit, this place looks cool. And there's more pipes. So I guess more torture victims were used here. Oh wait a minute, wasn't there a How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, Lord. Kill me! This one. Prepare him. Oh, okay. Sure, the torture victim asks to be killed, so you just kill them. Isn't that kind of the opposite of what you want to do? Anyway, but yeah, um, as I was saying, I think, that wasn't there a piece of the, uh, some note or whatever we found that said that they were, at one point, using the pieces of the orb to aid in torturing people? So, so far, we found a piece of orb in every single torture room from the choir area, and now there's pipes over here, which will undoubtedly lead to more torture areas. Oh, there's two going around the sides of the room. I'm guessing to each of the other doors. Yep, they enter the wall right there, and right there. And then the other one at the ceiling goes there. So these are each going to lead to another torture room, where we'll probably find another three pieces of the orb. Okay, cool. And then there's these stairs up here. Um, I wanna just read a note real quick. Grippa channels of fire. Vitae can be extracted from any agonized human victim's blood. Just need a large amount to distill it properly. We're going to close torture session, blah, blah, blah. Poisonous fungi. Tamter. So we need Vitae. That's the last item that we need for Agrippa's tonic. And there's no real reason to assume it's up here, but since it's the only place that probably won't have an orb. Still crystal clear, right? Okay, good. So it's safe to look at the portraits. Because <laughs> the portraits turn all nasty when your sanity drops, and uh, I think looking at them when they've turned nasty makes them drop your sanity even further. Okay. Tinder box, Nice. Ooh, note. And a collectible item. Cool, alright. Let's save both of these for last. Let me look at each thing. 
for some oil or whatever instead. Or this thing. These things are always cool. Is it you, my love, I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become, I am not blind. I am a monster to them, a demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. At this time, it must work. If it can't, if I can't return home now, I shall perish. Okay. So yeah, an earlier one of those flashback note box thingies mentioned that Alexander had some woman. Yeah, oil. That's what I was looking for. Cool. Yeah, it mentioned he had some woman he was in love with and trying to get back together with or something. Um, but we don't have any real details on her yet. Hmm. I just realized there's another pipe up here. Sticking out of the wall. Um, that's weird. I'm guessing... This is probably Alexander's personal office or something. Um, and I guess he had one exit to the pipe system leading out here so he could hear the prisoner screaming? Either just for his own sadistic pleasure or maybe to make sure they were being tortured. Maybe he didn't... Because he was having Daniel do a lot of the actual... Uh, dirty work for torturing. Um, so if he was having Daniel do that, maybe he didn't trust Daniel, and so he thought he needed to keep an, uh, an ear out for, uh, to make sure Daniel was doing his work. That's one possibility. The other, the, the, the more obvious but less interesting possibility is that he was simply, you know, had sadistic pleasure in, in listening to the people being tortured. Um, but like I said, that's less, less interesting because that's just sort of generic bad guy stuff. Seem, and, and we have gotten pieces of information that showed that he didn't exactly trust Daniel to the fullest. And of course, he was manipulating Daniel the whole time, you know, and lying to him and all that. So that, I think that that's, makes more sense. Um, the third possibility is that despite how nice and clean and fancy looking this room is, something about it is actually a highly advanced form of torture, and that's a pipe <laughs> that's uh, supposed to, you know, transfer the sounds of the person who was in here being tortured over to the other place. I don't know. Let's read the note now. Notes on torture. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain at the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence when their strength exceeds their expected violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses, if possible, with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the, the amnesia drink and try again later. Oh. That's interesting. So, obviously the game's called Amnesia, and our character that we're playing as ha has amnesia. And up to this point, we didn't really know. Like, like, we knew right at the beginning of the game, because Daniel writes a note to himself before he induces amnesia on himself, uh, he says that he, you know, intentionally did it to himself. So, um, 
obviously he, you know, we could guess he drank something or knocked himself on the head or whatever, you know, to do that, but we didn't exactly know how, and apparently there's actually a, a special potion they have that can just induce amnesia in people, and apparently they were regularly um, administering it to their torture victims to help maximize the effect of the torture by continually terrifying them and bringing them up to a point where the torture victims almost got used to the torture and then giving them an amnesia drink if they, uh, you know, if they settled too quickly, I guess, um, so that they could start all over again and keep going. And um, Apparently the Vitae, which is the ingredient we're looking for, is something... I'm not sure if it's real, but at least in the game, it's something that the human body produces uh, when it's in great terror, and it flows through the blood. That's very interesting. Also, this brings up the possibility that Daniel, at some point, became a torture victim. I know it's kind of uh, un that it, it, it it's kind of unusual. I guess it wouldn't make much sense since he was the one doing all the torture, and he was, at least for the majority of the time, he was partners with Alexander, but maybe something about their deal made Daniel eventually be like, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore, I don't care if I die, uh, you know, turn me into another torture victim or something, and, like, I'm thinking probably not physical torture, he probably didn't go through that, but maybe he intentionally gave himself the amnesia drink so that his new self, who didn't remember anything, would be psychologically tortured from witnessing all the like monsters and everything that we've been seeing throughout the course of the game. And maybe that psychological torture is something that he was trying to force himself to go through. I don't know. It's just an idea, and it's probably not true, but whatever. Still, interesting to think about. And now, what the hell is this thing? picked up string. Great. I'm sure that will prove useful. Anything in the pot? No. Looking all around for any items we might want. Don't see a thing. Okay. Move the chair out of the way. Okay, cool. Nothing else up here. So, three torture rooms to go. And in one of them, we should be able to find the, the Vitae, I assume, or maybe we could get it in any three of them. Let's hope it's easy to find. Oh, whoops, pull. Oh, great. That's completely dark. Let's, uh, check out the middle one. Also dark. Awesome. And on the right side, also dark. Awesome. Okay, you know what? For shits and giggles, let's go down the middle, because it seems to be a straight path. The cradle is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Okay. Oh, we got the ringing in our ears and the blurry vision again. Do anything. Whatever you want. Do anything. Do anything. Mm-hmm. Nobody's coming for us. Cool. So this, um... Oh, why did I click it? I didn't want to click it. Okay. Oh, it's just a 
flashback note type thing. Okay. The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the me method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. Great. That's fantastic. Wow. Just amazing. And now we've got a slight headache. Even better. Another piece of the orb. Much better. Alright. Need more oil. Not so better. <laughs> um. Yeah, I know that impaler thing. Looks awful. I don't want to think about where they impaled him. Uh, I have an idea. Because in the minor amount of history that I've studied. The Impaler seems similar to real-life torture devices that were, let's say, particularly used on homosexual people. So I'm guessing it was something like that. Oh, there's another piece of the orb. And there's a torture device with uh, some stuff going on. Okay, so this is like a thing where they tighten the ropes and it makes the guy get uh, stretched out, tightens his limbs, yeah. Pretty simple and uh, horribly painful, yeah. All this stuff is really unpleasant, just real great. Alright, do I need more oil yet? No, still slight headache, cool. I'm trying not to spend a lot of time in each of the torture rooms because they're all making our vision blurry and making our, you know, uh, hearing start ringing so they're dropping our sanity, but uh, I do want to actually try and look around the room and, you know, observe the environment and find any items we can and stuff like that and find bits of story and stuff. Um, but actually, I am out of time for this episode, so I'm going to end it here, and when we come back, we'll go into the last torture room and pick up what I assume is the last piece of the uh, orb. And we've already got... Oh wait, actually, we don't have all the pieces to Ogre Tonic. Shit, I just realized. I was getting confused. I remembered picking up the string and thought that was the final uh, piece of the tonic, but we have to pick up blood or vitae from the blood of a torture victim. So never mind, we still need one more piece of Agrippa's tonic. Crap. All right, well, I'll see y'all next time. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye-bye.